Hi ladies and gents, this is Irene. I uh, just want to share with you a journal that I've made. And this will be listed uh, in my Zippet store and on my eBay store. It might be slightly a bit more expensive by maybe $9 on my eBay um, because of the exorbitant fees. Um, so you're better off buying it on my Zippet store. So this has been done with beautiful upholstered fabric and I actually sell just the fabric cover as is for $15 uh, without this just the fabric cover and it is lined with music paper but not this one vintage music paper now this is an original uh 1800s i mean early 1900s postcard and sorry okay um so and this is french lace they're both vintage french lace and i've ruffled them and sewed them on and put vintage buttons and there's a bit more here as well okay so let's get started but before we do i am going to spray this room because australian bull terriers do the most grossest farts okay that's better <laughs> okay so let's begin okay so this is the first page here so as you can see here i put a homemade crochet uh, this was done by crafts from the dungeon i bought them from her who is raylene raylee from crafts from the dungeon she's Aussie on youtube just some tags i sell these in my zippet store and this is avocado dyed diction vintage dictionary paper that I've just sewn to make a little uh, pocket. Made a little pocket. I'd like to call this Victorian grunge, I suppose. Little picture here of two little kids. Got a bit of burlap. This is bake, uh, the Australian baking paper, and I love that noise it makes. And um, so after I put everything on run, I'd done some light little sprays with the Lindy's Stamp Gang. Um, a bit of vintage rickrack and music paper and yeah, just your little bits and pieces, you know. And there's some more of that Lindy's Stamp Gang. It's a beautiful spray. It's got like a brown and a teal in it. And yeah, gorgeous pocket. Um, all these have been avocado dyed and I bought like this one and this one. I got it from an Australian seller and I can't think of a name, I'm sorry. But um, yeah, it's a beautiful vintage dictionary paper. This is a vintage dressmaking paper. This is from the 60s. I found a massive book of dictionary that papers from the 1968 I think and they got pictures on them so gorgeous um, this was wrapped around some flowers that someone gave me and I thought oh that's lovely so I kept that love that so let's have a look at this little grungy whoopsie so you can see that better okay so i really love this grunge pocket that i did here um in my store i sell 10 sheets for two dollars of the sheets are about like that and it's rose gold copper sheets and i put that here and it looks real pretty oh you probably can't see sorry put that there so over here i got i put the base of like one of those cardboard timeout cards 
that was coffee dyed, avocado dyed. Um, got this ruffle going on and I sell three yards of this ruffle for nine dollars, Australian dollars in my store. It's, it's a beautiful floral, almost feels like it's a polyester I think, but it almost feels like a chiffon -y type. Um, yeah, a bit of that gold I put over here again, just making paper tickets. Um, this is these all these images are from Emiko Work Studio, um, an Australian seller that sells beautiful pictures on eBay. She's Emiko Work Studio, and these are just offcuts from uh, the fabric, the upholstered fabric, and a beautiful vintage button. And these are just some collaging here that I did with my offcuts here. You can see that damask paper, the vintage um, avocado dye dictionary paper, uh, dressmaking paper, and it's just been sewn and an eyelet and, of course, um, seam binding. Okay. So I'm selling these for 180 Australian dollars. There's 70 pages front and back. Um, lots of time went into this, so yeah. A fairy song. It's cute. And uh, that came from your Vintage Blend Studio subscription. I haven't done a video, but I'll do that. Um, it's a subscription place from America. I accidentally put this upside down. It doesn't matter. Little bunnies upside down there. It's down the rabbit hole we go. <laughs> There's a beautiful vintage uh, piece there. Love this page here. This is very glamorous. Um, again, similar to the other one, just a little bit different in style. The base is glad wrap, baking paper, a bit of the burlap, the upholstery fabric. This is vintage lace that I sell in my store and a bit of the gold. Um, oh, jeez. <laughs> Doily and some vintage offcuts, music paper, and they've just been sewn on and some buttons. Uh, this is uh, from Emmy Work Studio. She's, it's not a real one, it's printed out. And this is from Vintage Blend, your Vintage Blend Studio. It's so cute. It's a little paper pad with all these gorgeous little things. Um, you get about four or five of each one. I'll have to do a video I have to show you. Okay. Here I did a collage um, that is a legit article from the 50s or 40s that is avocado dyed that is from the 60s again original dictionary paper from the 60s here's another lovely collage um, this is another page from your vintage blend studio uh, the wind in a frolic there's all cute little images there um, yeah, so with this one from Emmy Work Studio, I just cut around her and sewn her on a rose trim and uh, a vintage little, looks like uh, from for transport from a uh, in Rome. Put that on some burlap as well, little bow. Um, yeah. And that paper is avocado dyed too. 
that is as well. And so is this. That's beautiful, isn't it? It's another pretty page here. Embroider on glaze. It was a lover and his lass. It's from a music sheet there. And I've got this narrow piece. I sell that narrow piece in my store as well. And also the wider ones and a rough wood as well. Here's the other part of the collage. I love the way that turned out. So pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? A girl watering something. Little birdie upside down. Oh, isn't that beautiful? There's a, another gorgeous page here. Love all that. I ruffled that up. And that. This is homemade. Um, what do you call it? from Roxy Car 11 years ago. She gave it to me. I still got it very tight with a beautiful vintage button and just little off cuts there. And a little collage of fabrics and papers there. Just making paper, bits of curtain paper. And And of course back here as well. Yeah, so you can find that in my zippet store. If you can't find a link to my zippet store, um, it should be on my channel or my other videos yeah so that is it I think I might leave that that doesn't look too bad I don't know depends on the person whoever buys it um, they can just leave a comment whether they want it covered or not okay thanks for watching bye